So guys, this is our USB to TTL device. You can see that these TX and RX LEDs are not blinking. It means PIC is neither sending nor receiving that data. Now we go to our USART terminal and let me connect the device. I click on connect, it's connected. Now I send like V, uh, I press enter. Okay, the LED blinked, see? See that, the LED blinked. It means that V is received and V is sent. Now I send this, this again, one, two, three, four times. Now see that, send four times and receive four times. Now whatever you send, like I send J, I press enter, send, two, three, three times J, see that, and three times J is received, simple as that. Now, if we go to the programming, it's very simple. We are just uh, initializing the software URT port with our desired pins. And then we are sending, reading the data and then we are sending whatever is read, simple as that. Hello guys, welcome to learning microcontrollers. In this video, uh, PIC16 FA77A based software serial duplex communication tutorial will be shown. And uh, we will, to demonstrate this, we will simply read, write data to and from PC, like whatever we send from the PC, PIC will send it back to the PC, like it will receive the data from one pin, TX or RX pin, and then it will transmit the same data from the TX pin. We will, we will program it in such a way. So we will be using Micro C for PIC's software serial library. So let's get started. So guys, this is our PIC 16 fh 7 a microcontroller having 40 pins. It's a GIP version. This over here is a USB to TTL device. It's a CH340 USB to TTL device. You can use any other USB to TTL device available at your place, doesn't matter. Now let me label this device, although it is already labeled, let me label it again. If you hold it like this, then the left one is a 5 volt pin, then VCC, then 3.3 volt, then TX, RX and ground. Now whichever USB to TTL device you take, these three pins, TX, RX and ground are in every device. While these power pins, 3.3, VCC, 5 volt, they vary. In some devices you don't have 3.3 volt, in some you don't have 5 volt, etc. But TX, RX and ground are always there. And TX, RX and ground means that it's a UART based device. Now the UART port of the PIC16 FA77A is pin number 25 and 26. That is pin number C6 and C7 over here. Now guys, uh, since uh, we don't want to use a hardware UART because we are going to use a software serial, that is software UART. So we can turn any pin, any digital input output pin into either TX or RX depending upon the availability. Now in my case, I have pin number D0 and D1 available. So I will turn the pin number D0 as a RX pin and D1 as a TX pin. Now guys, let's do the connections. So first of all, connect the ground of your CH340 USB to TTL device with the ground of the PIC. Now for the RX pin of the USB to TTL device, you need to connect it to the TX pin of the PIC. So, uh, and our software serial TX pin is pin number D1 like this. And for the TX pin of the USB to TTL device, you need to connect it to the RX pin of the PIC. And our RX pin is uh, D0, that is software serial generated. That's, uh, these two pins like D0 as RX and D1 as TX for the software serial port, I will, I, will, I will initiate them in the programming and I will show you how to do that. Now guys, this is it. This is simple, uh, you can say simple connections. Now what is going to happen is that we will plug this device into the computer and then we will send characters from the computer. Like I will send A, B, C, whatever I send, then PIC will receive that character using its uh, uh, RX pin, that is D0, and then uh, we will program it in such a way that then again it is going to send it from the pin number D1 to the RX pin of the USB to TTL device, and the computer will display whatever is received. Like whatever is received, PIC will send it back. That's all. So that's that's what's going to happen here. So guys, this is it. So let me introduce you to the hardware before we move on to the programming. So guys, this over here is the hardware. You can see that it's a USB to TTL device already connected to the computer. Now see that these three pins I didn't connect it. 3.3 VCC 5 volt because when we are going to plug this device into the computer, computer will automatically power it up. So we don't need to connect, the, give it the 5 volt from our circuit. Now guys, uh, the circuit will be powered up using that uh, Picket 3 device. And this is our PIC16 FA77A. In case you want to power up the circuit using the computer's power, so power then you simply program the circuit, remove the picket 3 and connect a 5 volt, uh, connect this pin, that is a 5 volt pin from here to the 5 volt pin of the pick, that's all. 
Now guys, rest is just a trailer setup, while our concern is only that which has been shown in the presentation and wirings are as shown there. Now guys, let's uh, get to the micro C4 pick so we can get started with the programming. So guys, this is our micro C4 pick. Uh, let me zoom in so you guys can see better. So this is version 7.2.0 and uh, you can use the latest 7.6.0 as well. And I have a video on that, how to download and install micro C4 pick for free. I will share the link to that video in the description so you can download and install it yourself as well. Now click on file, new, new project. This window prop pops up, new project wizard. Click on next, write the name of the project. I write software, serial, half, duplex, Okay, I accidentally saved the work. Let me create a new file. Okay, new, new project. Software serial half duplex. Tutorial by learning microcontrollers. I accidentally pressed press the enter key, so uh, I'm going to make it. Okay, this is the file name I just wrote, right? Select like the path where you want to store the files, like the microcontroller, pic 16 fa 7 a is the one I'm going to use. And now select the device clock. That is a crystal connected to pin number 13 and 14 of your pick. And I have a 20 megahertz crystal over there. Click on next and finish. So guys, now you go here. As you can see that this window pops up. Press Ctrl S to save your work before you do anything else. Now save it wherever you prefer. Now go to the right into the micro e libraries, expand it. Now the system libraries, expand it. Now here you have guys different libraries, go down, here you have this software UART library, check mark this, expand it, and here you have this command, software UART INIT command, double click on it, this window pops up, and here in the example here you have this command, copy it from here like this till here, like this. Now guys go back, paste it here. Now guys this is a scientific software UART initialize, select the port which you of from which you want to take your TX and RX pin. I select the port D and as shows in the presentation, this is the RX pin and RX pin in our case is D0 and the TX pin is D1. So port D pin number zero is the RX pin and pin number one is the TX pin. Now this is the border, whatever you want to set, I set it to 9600 and this is the inversion key. Like in case if you want your output to be inverted, then you only do is that you make it like non-zero value like one or any non-zero value and once it's zero it means that it's non-inverted output and I want non-inverted output or just leave it as it is like default. Now guys this is our software serial port initialized with the pins of our choice that is D0 and D1. Now let's uh, give some initialization delay not necessary but I always suggest you give it in the one time loop. Now guys we move on to the, our forever loop write down while one forever loop starts here and here. Now inside the forever loop, first of all, we will need to read the data from the uh, software serial port. For that purpose, we need a variable which will store the data. Read one will do and a variable which will check for errors. Error. That's all. Now guys, go to the right again. Okay, save your work. Okay, go to the right again. Here you have this software UART read uh, command, this one, in the software UART library. Now double click on it this window pops up and here in the example you have this command software read just copy this copy this command only this one okay now for the error error is like ne it never happened so just leave it as it just initialize this but if you want to use it you can use this bit as well it will uh, more rectify your code but in my case i don't need it now remove this data and this is the variable we just initialized. This will store that value coming from the computer that is over the UA software UART port. And then uh, what we are going to do is that whatever the data is read, we will send it back. Now go to the right again. Again in the software UART library, you have this command U soft UART write. Double click on it. And in the example here, here you have this command. Now you copy it, go back and paste it like this. And here, Whatever you write, whatever the byte you write here will be sent back. So read one. Whatever is received is stored in this read one using this command software UART read. 
and then we again write it back to the computer the same thing whatever is received in the read one so let's build this code and see check for errors okay it's built successfully no error we build again okay no error now let me open the picket c programmer tool so we can burn it into our microcontroller so guys this is our picket 3 programmer tool let me zoom in so first of all select the microcontroller pic 16 fa 77 a i will also share a link to the video in which i had shown you how you can download and install this picket 3 programmer tool and there is also a download link in that video so you will also have that in the description click on file import hex file this is the file we just created double click on it and click on write okay the new file is being written let me zoom out and get to the hardware so guys this over here is our uh, hardware you can see that uh, the microcontroller is burned now let me power up the circuit using the picket 3 power source click on on okay it's on okay now see that nothing is happening no led is blinking it means no data is being sent that's a good sign because by default there should be no data coming and receiving now we send some data and see what happens so go to your uart terminal you can use any serial terminal but here you have a terminal as well click on tools here you have usart terminal click on it this window pops up select the port which is related to the usb to ttl device you have connected when you first time run a usb to ttl device onto your computer you install a driver for that device and then it assigns a port to that device and you should remember that port and mine is com4 and 9600 is the board that we are using rest are defaults i connect see no data is sent see no data sent no data received now we send something i send like x okay x is sent and x is received that's fine see now i send t okay t is sent t is received that's fine it's working i send u now take a look here u is sent and u is received now i send i now take a look here oh sorry not u i only one byte it will be either u either i only one byte see i i send and i is received over here now i send some symbol like this send and this is received i send uh, some special character c does, does it work okay i send at the rate of at the rate of send and at the rate of is received see that it is working like a charm so, guys so if you have any questions guys you can ask me in the comment section this is it guys for now and uh, we'll see you in the next video goodbye until then